So we see that there are non-believers, not just Christians, but also non-Christians, and people who are actually antithetical or in, and completely opposed to the gospel, who, um, who actually have great gifts and abilities that contribute to society. And so one of the ways that I try and hit, hit that home and stress that amongst my people is uh, I use this example of, uh, I ask, so how many people have uh, gone across a bridge? How many people drove across a bridge to get here? And they put their hand up because, you know, there's rivers in St. Louis and there's, you know, they're going over overpasses and all that sort of thing. And I asked them, so, ha so how many of you, when you approached that bridge, stopped? And you thought for a second, you turned to your wife or your kids and you said, D do you think that a Christian engineer drew up the plans for this? Or, uh, or were there, were the people that uh, built the bolts and screwed them together and laid the asphalt, were, were all of those Christians? Because I, I just don't know if I should go over this bridge if they weren't, right? And, and of course, everybody laughs because no one would do that. That's absurd. Um, and so that, that's actually an example of common grace, that God has given people, even those people who aren't following him, he has given people, because they are made in his image, because they're, uh, they're part of the human race, because they're a Mago Dei, he has given them gifts and abilities that contribute to the, the greater good, to society, and we benefit from that. And so if God has done that for people who aren't even following him, people who are opposed to him, how, how much more so does he do that with the believers? And so how much more responsibility do we have as Christians to use our gifts, to use our abilities for the common good? not just for our own benefit, but also for the benefit of our neighborhoods, our cities, our schools, um, that we would use the gifts uh, that God has given to us in our fields of vocation and, that, and people would, would experience that kind of flourishing from it.